If you want to start your career in construction, maybe you're finishing high school soon and you don't know what to do next, or you don't have money for college or university. Maybe you're older and you want to change careers. You want to make some really good money. Then construction could be the answer. I'm here to tell you how to get a job in the trades in construction, and I'm here to help guide you through the entire process so that you can make real good money. The point of this is making really good money, guys. The construction industry is so desperate for workers. And in fact, five years from now, when all the baby boomers are out and retired, we're going to be getting paid a lot of dough. So stick around because this video is for you. Welcome to Construction Cronies. My name is Chris Conkle, and I'm glad you clicked on this video. I really want to attract people into the trades. I want to help people in the trades. I want to help you get into construction in the trades, and I want to help you with your journey through it. I've been in them for a very long time. Over 20 years I've been in construction. Uh, I've done a lot of trades. I've worked for general contractors. I've worked for drywall contractors, electricians, pipe fitters. Uh, I've done a lot of school. I went to, I did, uh, Nate is a project manager and I'm an NCSO, a safety officer. So I've done a lot of training. I have a lot of experience. Uh, I even worked in the office as a project manager, estimator. Uh, I've done a lot of cool things. Okay, so I, I, I was a superintendent for a long time, but nowadays I run my own private business where I do strictly piecework. So I'm trying to transfer out of construction into YouTube, obviously, but uh, for now I'm strictly piecework in the field, which is awesome because then I have my own hours, I make as much money as I want, and I tell you, I make a lot of money in, in short periods of time, okay? I can literally work two, month, two weeks out of the month and, and make more than most people do in a month. So uh, to get to that point though, you need to start somewhere. And that's what this video is all about. That's what I'm here to help you guys do. Okay, I'm gonna be giving you pointers on how to get hired by only the best and most reputable contractors. It may seem fairly straightforward like submitting a resume and waiting for a phone call, but that's not the case. If you wanna stand out from all the other applicants, then this advice is for you guys. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go online and search the local listings to see who the large contractors are in the area you want to work. Stick to the ones that have websites. That way you can do research on the company. You can you can find out if that's the type of company you wanna work for. If that's if you're just starting in the trades, you can then find figure if that's the trade you wanna start in. The, the It's really important to go online, search the local listings, and then you can go to like the indeed.com employee review and stuff like that, check out for reviews on what the past employees and present employees say about the company. Knowing a little bit about the company is not a bad thing. It's actually very powerful because it'll give you help when you're communicating with somebody from that company and they know that you've done a little bit of research and it shows them that you have good intent and that you've done a little bit of homework and you're willing to do some work to get the job. Uh, it'll also help you tailor your cover letter and resume. How do I decide who to apply to? Well, they must have an apprenticeship program. For one, you want to get your journey person certificate at some point. You don't want to be a first year carpenter forever, or you don't want to be a laborer forever. You want to go through school. You want a company that will put you through school and, and give you the training that you need to do your job. You would really want companies that offer apprenticeships that'll pay for you to go to school. This is a really beneficial option to all of you that are, who can't afford college or university because this is a paid education process. An apprenticeship is paid education. It, it, it's amazing. You come out of it with no debt, right? It's, it's a really powerful option that is not being used enough these days. Okay, so the second thing that they must have is a full-time safety program. Be core certified and have full-time safety advisors and NCSOs or CSOs, uh, something like that. Be sure to ask those questions up front and check out their website again and it'll tell you if they're core certified. If they're core certified, then they will have NCSOs or CSOs walking around site. I'll say you want to be protected when you're working because construction can be very dangerous, but it can be less dangerous with a proper safety program. So trust me on that. You really want to work for somebody who's safety oriented. The third thing I'm going to tell you is the training to have beforehand that'll make you that much more uh, desirable so that it will give you much more chance of being hired. 
There's the CSTS and the ESTS training systems, okay? That's the construction safety training system or the electrical training system. That's what it is here in Canada, and I'm sure it would be something similar in the U.S. Do the research. It is a, a pre-entry course. It gives you an orientation into what you need to look out for on a construction site. It's a, it's a safety thing. And a lot of commercial sites require it now, and all industrial sites, you must have it. Uh, residential, not so much, but it is a really good thing to have. It's only about 60 bucks here in Alberta, so it's well worth doing it, okay? So figure it out and contact your local safety authority. They'll, they'll tell you uh, what the course is and how much it'll cost. Okay, the fourth thing I'm going to tell you about is basic PPE and tools that you should have before applying to a construction company. You're going to want to have a pouch with a basic tool side and a screw pouch, a hammer, a tape measure, a imperial only tape measure, not a not a combination metric and imperial. Stick with imperial only. That's that the standard here in America. Uh, so don't don't be using the combi ones. You're also going to need steel-toed boots. Uh, gloves are good to have. The tight Kevlar gloves. Don't get those big ball leather ones uh, those are only used by like strictly laborers uh, if you're working with tools and fasteners you need to have the tight uh, cut resistant gloves a hard hat safety glasses are a good idea a lot of companies will supply you with uh, gloves and safety glasses but it's always nice to show up with uh, the first pair uh, companies will always appreciate that so if you have all of that just to be able to say that you have that on the phone or in an interview that shows the company that you're serious and will separate you from being a laborer and a first year apprentice okay so now we've done our research we've done some homework we've decided who to apply to uh, we have some basic training and some basic ppe and uh, tools now it's time to pick up that phone and make a call don't be afraid to talk to people receptionists are very well informed and hiring procedures and the availabilities that are open at that time. They can also give you some great information like email addresses and names. Ask them to be patched through to a hiring representative or a hiring manager. Uh, and when you get connected to a hiring manager, keep it concise and to the point. They'll appreciate that and never overstate your qualifications. Never ever overstate qualifications. And finally, remember to always follow up with your emails and phone calls. Repetition when done properly has great impact on staffing agents who get hundreds of applications. Just remember, never be discouraged. Always be determined, willing, and honest. So follow these guidelines and you will get hired. If you found this video helpful, then please give me that thumbs up so that it can be shared out with more people and I can help more people. If you guys know anybody who needs help, some guidance, or you need personal help and guidance, please let me know down in the comments. I'll get back to you guys and I'll help you the best I can. This is Chris. Bye for now.